Hi everyone, welcome back to the Mountain Shadows Art and Craft video. Today we're going to be making a tissue paper kite. And we're going to be using a template of a kite so we can go ahead and cut. So you want to start by cutting the inside here and also the outer part of your kite because you're going to use that to trace on your black uh, construction paper so we can get this. So I'll begin the cutting and you can see how I'm going to cut it and then um, we'll continue with this sample. So you're going to need some glue and you're going to need some scissors. Um, with this packet you got uh, yarn, some tissue paper, and you also got some uh, wax paper. So let's go ahead and begin by cutting the template out and you can start on the outside if that's easier for you just by cutting the template if you can see that then it's really simple to cut out. And I'm just going to cut the outer part and you can do the inside. And I'm just going to show you how to go about tracing. So you're just going to place this template, make sure you cut the inside, okay? And then you're just going to place it on top of your construction paper. Do it in an angle, it works out better, it gives you a lot more room. So you're going to trace it just like this, and then you're just going to cut after you trace. Um, and so what you turn out with is this right here. And then your next step is just going to be uh, gluing on the tissue paper. So let's do that. And if you notice, also with the template came these little bowls so that you can uh, cut them out and use them on uh, tissue paper or construction paper that we sent you guys to make it so you can um, tie it or glue it to your uh, string and I'll show you that at the end. Okay. So you want to take your tissue paper and you're going to cut them. And you can cut them as long, as wide as you want. I'm just going to make some examples here so you can see. I have some light yellows, some dark yellows. And I also have some pink and some purple and some white. And so I'm just going to cut a couple of those so I can show you. I don't know if you remember when we made uh, the Patriot um, fly, we did the same thing. We had the template, we cut it out, and um, we went ahead and got it all together. So, okay, I have my colors all spread out so that I know what I'm going to be using where and how I want it. Okay, so you want to start by putting some of the glue. And you don't want to use too much. So you just want to do your edges. Like this, just so that you can stick your paper on it. So you can put, you can go like this. Anything extra, you're going to cut off anyway, so don't worry if um, some of it is sticking out. And then I think I'm just going to add some yellow to that. So 
Oops. Okay. And just fix it. There we go. And I'll show you what it's looking like so far. So see? And so you want to fill out in your whole kite put a little bit on there and then you can just start by filling it in just like that now another way to do this is that you can do it on your wax paper first and then place it on your kite which is perfectly fine But I, I like to do it this way. I enjoy it a, a lot more. And then I'm gonna add some pink to that. And move it over a little bit, just like this. And then I'm gonna just take some of that white that I have there, and I'm gonna place it on this side. I might cut some off. And that's the other thing. You can cut pieces off to fill in any gaps you might have. Just like that. And I'm just gonna cut right there. And this is how it's looking. And like I said, any pieces that are sticking out, you just wanna go ahead and cut off. No big deal. See? And I still need to cut right here, but I'm going to let it dry. So I'm going to head and add some. Let's see. I have some other colors here. And I'm just going to head and grab some of this light blue. So if you have any extra tissue paper at home, you can use that as well. Bring this down so you can see this and I'm going to use this blue I just like having fun with my projects um, it relaxes me and it helps me bring something to you guys that you haven't considered doing Oh, that looks really pretty. I love it. I'm going to cut off some of this blue because I don't need all of that showing. There we go. See, it's coming along. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right. And then going to take some of my darker blue and I'm just going to go across on this side so anytime you're going to uh, put some tissue paper you have to do the glue or else it's not going to stick so there we go like that and then I'm sticking with a certain design and colors on one side. That's how my brain is working today. <laughs> I'm going to add this pink to it. Loving it. And then I'm just going to cut off that excess stuff there without messing up my beautiful color. There we go. There we go. Come back to this one so I can fix this one that's sticking out. And so see coming along. Just got to finish cutting this off. And I'm going to go maybe a brighter yellow. 
Oh, I think that would be beautiful. Okay, I'm going to do yellow. Just like that. Make sure I get those corners. Like this. go and then I'm gonna finish it off with this dark blue and pretty much that's it and then you just want to go ahead and um, put your wax paper on top of that and then you take your wax paper Put your glue all around your kite, the outside part of it, so that your wax paper can stay on. And then you just go ahead and place it on there. It's okay if it doesn't cover the whole thing, just like this. And then you're gonna let it dry. Let's go ahead and take this out of there. And I'll show you how to cut it. And we're just going to grab it. Turn it over. And we're just going to cut as close as possible. Hope you see can see what I'm doing here. Let's get that off. My scissors are a little too big. And then you just want to do your whole height. Anything extra, just go ahead and cut off. Sometimes a smaller pair of scissors work a lot better than the bigger ones. But I'm getting it. See how it's coming along? Go ahead and move all of that. I'm finished, so I can show you how to do the string. Um, you don't have to glue it on if you don't want to. You can just um, put a piece of tape, and I'll show you how to do that. And now you want to turn it back. Make sure your area is nice and clean, that there's no tape or glue, should I say. So this is how it looks. This is the back. And then you just want to take your string. You can glue it on there if you like, but if you do that, it's going to take a while. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and tape it. I'm going to tape it on just so that I can see, show you how it's going to look. And here we are. see and then if you want you can take um, construction paper let me clean my area a little bit it does make a mess you can take construction paper any color we did send some to you guys and you just want to cut I'm gonna go ahead and just take a long piece and I'm going to fold it in half so I can get more. And I'm just going to cut.
open that up and you see and then you can put that on your kite you can glue it on glue one right there I'm gonna put tape for now so that you can see what it looks like you'll see the tape but I just want to illustrate what it's going to look like. Um, put a piece right there. And we'll go ahead and tape it on. But I would recommend for you to glue it. So then you want to put one there and come down and put another one. You can put as many as you want. So let me step away. And you can see and that's your finished product and now you have your own kite <laughs> have fun with this one um, remember to always enjoy what you're doing there's no wrong or right way to do things as far as arts and craft it's whatever uh, comes out of what you make so have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. And thank you for joining us at the Mountain Shadows Arts and Craft video. Ciao.